All right, babies, it's that time again. Oh my gosh. Woo, I look forward to these, I really do. Because I love just being empty and seeing if God can fill me or if I'm impervious to his, uh, his infilling. Especially because last night was another kind of a, a dud night as far as the Bible goes. I'm just, I'm starting to get, <laughs> I'm starting to get a little jaded about the whole project. Not just Genesis, but the whole thing in general. Oh my gosh. And, I, and the thought, what happened is the, the thought occurred to me, like, life is too short. Why am I, like, punishing myself to try and glean uh, got to get in between two trucks here. <laughs> oh, and of course, there's three, four more trucks in front of me. Um, there's a lesson there, believe me. Um, yeah, like, why am I wasting my time trying to get, like, inspired by something that I find just not very inspirational, right? It's like, life is too short for that. And, and besides, I already have God living in me uh, based on the miraculous gift of Jesus. So I, I have direct access with God. <laughs> And if I just would shut up for a minute, you know, he can uh, communicate with me. I don't need to go through the Bible and, you know, try to figure out some, uh, oh yeah, this is, the, this is the piece I'm at right now. I think it's Genesis 12. It's, um, I'm just gonna do it quickly because it's just a waste of freaking time. Um, it's uh, Abram and his wife, Sarai. He's going to Egypt. And so he lies saying that she's his sister so that the people in Egypt don't lust after her thinking she's his wife and then kill him because they want her. It's like, does that make any sense? And then when the, the Pharaoh in Egypt finds out he lied to him, he just like, you know, kicks him out instead of being, uh, you know, showing hospitality to him. He just, what? <laughs> I mean, these stories are just like craziness. I mean, all right. I'm gonna try to, to I'm gonna try to, to to make some sense out of this. All right. It could be that this story is inspired by God. In that, it depicts humanity in its foolishness and its lack of trust and faith in God and going to ridiculous extents and degrees to protect what we want. In this case, having his wife lie to protect her from, excuse me, potential abuse and, and from himself, in this case, Abram, from being killed. So the moral of the story is what? Don't lie. <laughs> uh, you know, trust God. You know, and the fact that it's 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 so sordid in you know the abuse context and the potential murder. Yeah, like I said, I guess you could say that's. A reflection of humanity and God is never uh, reluctant to 
juxtapose our depravity and his righteousness. Okay, I'm fine with that, but to be honest with you, I'd much rather just shut up, be still, and let Jesus give me a hug and a kiss and some inspiration straight from the Holy Spirit. No sordid stories of uh, abuse and murder needed. <clears throat> All right, so that's where we at. Uh, so what can we say? Let's let's forget that. Uh, so what am I doing? I didn't play piano. Um, I kind of went through YouTube a little bit. Couldn't really find anything in there because I have like a lot of Bible related stuff and I was just getting really um, discouraged. I did come across something that looks like our earliest record of uh, life of the Israelites is around 13 to 1500 BC. And so that was kind of a confirmation I was kind of looking for because I found all kinds of conflicting stuff as you do when you start dealing with Bible related things. Uh, so that was a, a little encouraging there. Um, but yeah, didn't play piano, didn't feel like doing that. Uh, came across some. Um, just a, you know, a long four-hour video of different bird uh, bird song. So that was nice because I, I love identifying birds. It's one of my hobbies, uh, especially by song. Uh, but then I was disappointed because halfway through the doc was, um, it just repeated instead of, you know, just, there are more birds out there. <laughs> but no, it just repeated itself. I was like, uh, and then the other problem was it wasn't, um, you know, sometimes it would identify the bird and sometimes it wouldn't. It's like, this is, uh, this is not helpful. I can, I can get this kind of encouragement in the Bible. <laughs> uh, yeah. So what can I say? Uh, what can I say? I want to help you today. Let's see. I will help you by saying whatever your challenge is, financial, spiritual, relational, physical, situational, whatever it might be, just offer yourself up to God and say, Ah. Uh, I really could use your help right now, sweetheart. However you want to do it, I trust your judgment. I'm trying to open myself up as much as I can to receive from you. Help my unbelief. Thank you for all you've done for me. Thank you for giving me life. Thank you for the beauty of the world around me. Thank you for the positive things I can identify. And I look forward to your complete provision for all I need because you've promised it to me in your indefatigable gesture and offering of your son in my place to be with you forever, to have your attributes, to be loving, patient, kind, courageous, creative, and to have that joy of my relationship with yours being justified and confirmed at every turn in my life, even in my disappointments. I thank you. Yeah, say something like that. Speak from your heart. God will meet you. It might not be the way you want him to meet you. <laughs> but 
he'll be there. Love you.